Welcome to the Corps Report. I'm Corporal Clayton Filipovich. And I'm Sergeant Ali Byswinger. The past couple weeks have been a dark time for the Marine Corps. Two Marines died from injuries sustained during a crash landing at Marine Corps Base Hawaii, May 17th. We also lost six Marines due to a helicopter malfunction in Nepal. Despite the tragic loss, Marines with Joint Task Force 505 continued to accomplish their mission in supplying aid to the people of Nepal. The task force has delivered nearly 120 tons of relief supplies, transported about 553 personnel, and has conducted more than 256 hours of flight time. And nearly 900 U.S. military personnel had a hand in the relief efforts. The task force, comprised of more than 24 countries, deactivated May 26th. Last week, six F-35s started operational testing aboard the USS Wasp. The testing included day and night flight operations, as well as weapons loading, software testing, maintenance, and sustainment support while deployed at sea. This was the first time the aircraft was tested from a ship. By focusing manpower and logistical efficiencies on one aircraft, the F-35 is scheduled to replace the Harrier, the Hornet, and the Prowler. Remember, you can catch up on everything else going on around the Corps by logging on to our official social media sites. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you next payday. Right here on the Corps Report.